Hello developers, welcome to Octacoder. In today's tutorial, we are embarking on a coding journey to build a sleek layout for the Octa Travel app using React. We'll cover everything from crafting the logo, header and container to styling the footer plus we'll delve into the intriguing realm of forms and more. Picture this app as your ultimate travel companion, helping you curate the perfect list for your journeys. Whether you are wondering what luggage to pack or what essential you'll need, Okta Travel has you covered. It's a simple yet powerful travel list where you can add all the items you need for your next trip. In this video, we'll start by laying the foundation, building the core layout. So no more delays, let's jump right into the world of Okta Travel. Alright developers, so here we are currently in an empty folder, I have given a name Okta Travel App. If you are following along, go ahead and create a new folder on your computer. Whatever drive you have or just open an existing one in Visual Studio Code. Ok, inside VS Code, open a terminal window to create a React project. Use the command npx create react app dot slash. This means the project will be created inside the current directory, which is our Okta Travel app project. Wait for a minute. Ok. So our react application is created. So I'm gonna just clean up some unnecessary files like we don't need these files. So delete it. And in app.js file, let's delete this pre-written code that we don't need it. So let's just start with our first component which is header. So create a function header and let's return heading in h1 tag. Let's say octa travel and let's add palm tree emoji. If you are on windows, so just press windows plus period means dot key or greater than sign key. So it will open emoji window like this and select palm tree. Okay. In the app function, let's return due class name app and include the header component. Okay. Save it and open integrated terminal and type npm start command to run the application. And there you go. We get the heading and palm tree. So let's give some CSS to make it look good. Okay. So here we are using index.css file. Delete this all code. Start from the star means all elements. Let's make margin 0 and padding 0 and box sizing border box. Next HTML font size 62%. Then body font size 2.4 rem. Font family sans serif color for now let's give any color font weight 500 then app width 100 percent height 100 vh display grid grid template rows auto auto 1fr auto now h1 tag color let's give white kind of for now text align center background linear gradient 120 degree Color give little dark and second color little painted. Ok. Font family cursive. Font size 5 rem. Text transform uppercase. Padding 2.2 rem. Save it. Let's check output and not back. So we have heading kind of logo octa travel. Don't worry. We will make design better. For now we just creating layout. Ok. So next, below here we display some text and form. So let's create form component function form. Return due class name form. And give heading in h3 tag. What do you need for your trip? So that we can add. So for that form, I'll take input letter. Okay. Quickly create next packing list component also so function packing list return due 
quickly copy this component and paste below and this one is footer component okay inside packing list return due class name list and text list and in footer return footer tag class name footer and emphasize tag will display text you have x items x means this value will be dynamically we will get for now x okay x items on your list and you already pack x this also dynamic value we will get okay now let's include all component inside our main app component here after header we have form then packing list and last footer save this file let's see output and it looks like this we got our all component here so now let's give some css quickly for form let's add background color padding 2.5 rem display flex align item center justify content center now for list background color for now i am adding any color i just building layout for our travel app okay color black padding 4 rem display flex justify content space between flex direction column gap 3 rem align item center save it let's see output and it looks good not bad retro design and this text in footer let's give css for that now so footer give background color black or anything text align center font weight 600 padding 3 rem save it and great and we done the layout so this is our travel app layout this is basic design for now here in the list there will be checkbox that we will be adding dynamically for that we will need a form input and button that's the thing remaining in the next lecture we will do that functionality so till then you can make it better design if you want okay so stay tuned until next video if you found this helpful give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe octocoder channel for more coding tutorial happy coding thank you